Hi, right, today we're going to talk about how easy it is to do ad hoc analytics using Prometheum, where we'll actually take you through a use case where business users will ask for data that may not even exist, and we're going to take you through a workflow where a data engineer will work with a data analyst and then back to a business analyst to actually answer this question using Prometheum single platform, which includes data discovery, data prep and modeling, data virtualization, and even data visualization. So let's take a look at this and let's take a look at how our sample environment here has a number of different data source connections. So let's go through that workflow. Let's say I'm a business user and I want to know something like radio revenue subscriptions uh, by agent. And I'm going to hit a search and it looks like no one's ever asked this question yet. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to ask this question and I'm going to assign it to someone. So Let's say I'm going to assign it to the user called Casey. Now, as a business user, this is all I have to do for now. I am now done, and let's see what happens when the data engineer named Casey gets a request. So I am now logged in here as Casey, as you guys can see. So when I go to the Answers tab, I'm going to see that I've got some work cut out for me. It was requested by this user here. So I'm going to click on this answer here, and I can actually start working on this to help answer this question. So I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, Prometheum, can you help me out here? And one of the first things Prometheum is going to do is it's going to help me answer this question. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Prometheum's uh, reasoner score, which is Prometheum's AI capability to take the question that you're asking and help you figure out where the best data might be. Now, as you can see, you can actually just use a score here. Now, by looking at this, it looks like I may have some tables that are that kind of look the same. And so I see warning signs, I see endorsement signs. So one of the first thing I want to do maybe is, hey, let me just trust my data steward. If something's been endorsed, let's go ahead and use that. So now that gives me a much smaller universe of things to look at. And as a data engineer, I might actually want to observe and look into these different sources to see if I can build my data set. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to do this thing called create a data map. And I am going to start selecting uh, piece by piece uh, the different components to build my data set. And so Prometheum thinks I should start with this particular table first right after I filter out and only get the endorsed data. So let's take a look at why. Well, I'm going to select on this. And if I look at this, OK, someone's tagged it as subscription and radio. OK, well, that's good because I was looking at radio subscriptions, right? Well, let's take a look at the sample values. So it looks like here's the first sample values. Maybe I want to take a look at the first thousand sample values. I can go ahead and just do that. And I can see subscription ID. I could see that this is a, I see it's a fact table with a bunch of different columns that I need. But it looks like I've got all the information from product ID, subscription information that I might need. And if I look at the column names and I see the sample values, it looks pretty good. Why don't I try it out? If I'm wrong, I just select a new one. So I simply have to click Add to Data Map. 